Well, demolition job complete by the Delhi Capitals. They have humbled the Titans in their own den, become a bit of a bogey team for Gujarat Titans. That's twice in two years now that they've won in Ahmedabad. And we have to ask questions of what went wrong for GT after what was an inspiring last ball win against stable topping Rajasthan Royals. On the other hand, the Delhi Capitals without key players, without David Warner, Mitch Marsh, no Rick Nokia is still good enough to make the side. And they have just brushed the former champions easily in uh, less than nine overs. So, on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN been Cricket for timeout. A former Titan in Varun Aaron, who's back here, Ian Bishop, Mitch McLanagan, three bowlers where we spend the theme of the last two or three days about the lack of balance between bat and ball. It's dull to see a batting heavy game. We need something in there for the bowlers. This wasn't a great watch either though, Varun, in all honesty, was it? Not at all. I mean, I really felt the Titans batsmen failed to apply after losing early wickets. Uh, they should have just hung on for there for, for a little more before they tried to do anything fancy. It started with Sai Sudarshan's run out. That was a run of desperation. And to be honest, there was not a time to be desperate because the wicket was not the, the general uh, Narendra Modi Stadium wicket where which would just come onto the bat really well, no, mm. not much bounce. So they just pressed the panic button too early and then some really loose shots by uh, Shah Rukh Khan and, and Abhira Manohar to, um, to a part-time spinner. That really cost them because I think with their bowling attack, if they had 120 to 150 mm. on the board, it, I'm not saying they, could, they would have won the game, yeah, but, so but it could have been a fight. Yeah, I mean, part-time spin. Oh, look, I always knew he was going to have a significant impact with the ball. Oh, stop. That's why I stop. picked a, a, a finishing batter in a chase, which I said I'd never do again. Yeah. Uh, I made the mistake and got rewarded, uh, hopefully. But uh, look, hey, uh, it was an opportunity for them to give him a run, see what he's got with the ball, because the way they're lining up now with the five bowlers, they need to figure out if he's a viable option with the ball. And tonight he just didn't disappoint. Well, a little of a mixture in those... Six from Astro. He didn't disappoint. He I can't believe we're wickets. doing an analysis of Tristan Stubbs <laughs> over. That, that's, that's the highlight I of my game. I, I, okay. I think I oh, feel oh, like uh, I'm in a twilight zone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he makes the, imagine he makes the summary as a bowler for oh, Tristan Stubbs. Yeah, high quality. I, I, I hope he does. Yeah, uh, yeah, and not to mention just the most picturesque okay. stumping of... You, you bring this, of bring this show back on track, Chris. Okay. What do you want to talk no, about? No, let's, let's, let's get the serious <laughs> stuff out of the way and then we'll have some fun. Yeah. If a team gets bowled out for 89, which can happen, which in the IPL, and a bowler really has a spell to remember, which we've seen many times we say, ah, just put that aside, you know, put that game out and come back the next. But from what you saw of the way Gujarat batted, and you brought up the Lucknow game where they failed yeah. to chase 160. 163. Um, yeah. Is this a concerning defeat beyond just a one-off that may be a glitch to an otherwise strong team? This is a team that has problems now? Uh, it, it would set a couple of alarm bells ringing and, and we're still just getting to or just about halfway in yes. the season so there's still a lot of cricket to play right but you've got to say you're chasing 163 the ball didn't spin you get to 130 and could go no further and then tonight again so i think shipman gill and the coaching staff have to sit down and have a good chat with the guys there's enough talent in that dressing room when you talk about david miller sai sudasha and shipman gill etc etc raul tuatia to be better um, going forward because they've got a bowling attack with two spinners who can do a job for them. So from here on, they've got to pull their socks up. If we can extend on the chat, we touched upon it half time about how big a role Shubman Gill the batter plays. And I thought after that last game against Rajasthan, Varun, where he looked like the Shubman Gill of old, played the kind of innings that we expect him to, that now we'll see him in full flow. But from what you're seeing, and we add the captaincy element to it, what are the impressions being made about Gill's own form? and how the Titans are when he doesn't perform? Uh, his own form, I feel he's batting well. Sometimes you play an off shot, which, which just goes straight to the fielder. Uh, but uh, when he doesn't perform, definitely the, the Titans struggle because he's one of, uh, he's a talismanic figure for them for the last two years. Um, and when he does well, and when he does well and Rashid does well, they, they, they do well. Yeah. But when he tanks and Rashid tank, in, Rashid in the bowling department and him in the batting department, then they struggle which also magnifies uh, the, the reliance they have on, on these two players, the reliance they had on Shami. They still haven't found that new ball bowler to, to go to. Uh, they tried Umesh. Umesh didn't work. Sandeep Warrior today, yes, he got two wickets, but very, very expensive. Uh, so, yeah, this is um, one of those areas which they're going to be looking at. 
but I hope somebody comes good for them. Yeah, it's yeah, funny they, because he's got an 89 against Punjab and a 72 against Rajasthan. Uh -huh. But we've seen either that or very little from Shubman, who had a prolific 800 plus season last year. Yeah. yeah. Look, and you can't rely on them all the time. And it's like you, you just can't build your franchise around one guy one scoring team. runs. We've, we've seen that happen in the past and it doesn't work. So I think you've got to. What are you talking got, about? You've got to look at. <laughs> you've got to look at. You've got to look at how you can shore up that batting lineup. And you're right, they've tried a lot of options with the ball with their Indian paces. Sandy Warrior looked good in patches tonight, but it was expensive purely because I think of the chase that they had to take. They took more risks knowing there was very little chance of them losing the game. Do they, do they flip the switch and bring Kane in as well as David Miller or a Wade in as well as David Miller and shore up their middle overs? And then they may, may have to look at dropping... Spencer Johnson, who I think has gone really well. I think he's starting to look the goods. I think he's starting to look much better than he was at the start of the tournament. But they have a young kid, Sushant Mishra. A little left arm, new ball bowler who they bought for... Good money. I think they bought for two, at least two. 2.2 .2 crore. 2.2 .2 crore. Uh, I've seen him bowl. He's a, he's a swing bowler. He's a little bit raw, but he's got some talent. And So then you're still keeping that left arm balance, but you're bringing an in international batter. Um, to shore up that batting lineup because that's what's looked to me is that Shubman Gill needs a little bit more support around him and just playing what the one overseas batter hasn't helped that and I think they may be able to plug that gap with Sushant. Can, can I just concur with that and say the batting worries me most of all in a tournament where you have an impact batter and teams are scoring so many runs yeah. as quickly as they are. Looking at the scores of this Gujarat Titans team is where I think that's showing up. The thing see. about the Titans is this is peculiar territory for them. They've had two really good IPLs, you know that, Varun. And one of their mantras has been backing players. Now we're into the halfway stage, game seven or so. Today they dropped Vijay Shankar as well. Uh, Saha came back. It always forces a couple of changes when you have Wade and Miller, etc. But now, can they back players when they're losing? Uh, is this a bit of a... You know, is this the toughest period in Gujarat Titans short IPL history to figure this out? It is definitely an area where they haven't been in. Um, but coming back to the conversation we are having, I think it's important to play a batsman who is of a different mold to the current batsman in the top four, mm. which was Hardik last year. Hardik was somebody who could come in and straight away start start playing his shots, or he could come in and play the situation. I would definitely bring back Matthew Wade because he's one of those batsmen who can just come in, start playing his shots from ball one, take the game away from the from the opposition or maintain the run rate which they're chasing at. Uh, definitely Spencer Johnson would miss out then uh, and get an Indian seamer in. They have a lot of Indian seamers. They have yeah. Sushant Mishra, they have Karthik Tyagi. Yes. So they don't have any shortage of, of Indian fast bowlers. Uh, Spencer Johnson, I think today was again off the money because from an international fast bowler, you would want him to attack the stumps more, especially in such a game. He was really short. Um, and, and I mean, these are the games you, where... You don't, you don't empathize with an 89 to defend, do you? No, but but the thing is, when you defend an 89, it, it also you you got to defend it with a little character, you know. Sure. Uh, so th that 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 holds stead, especially going uh, towards the end of the tournament. Why don't you also extend on one of the comments coming through from JM uh, Gill's captaincy was baffling. Why not open the bowling with Rashid and Noor? I wouldn't do that. Just putting no, his hands up. Um, because you got to give the seamers at least one over to see the ball swinging. Uh, because if if say which gave him far. Yeah, that gave that, that, was, that was too much. Just one over each was good enough, you know. They pushed it too much by going five. One over each and then bring your spinners in. Uh, that would have been the ideal scenario, according to me. Uh, Sunny wants to know if it's time to say that the GT team without Hardik looks imbalanced. There were a lot of Hardik-related questions. Well, no, well, fair enough. I can understand that because he was so... Well, he, he took up an important role. Number four is a very critical role in T20 cricket. Because you come in in so many different situations. They've tried Omazai at the start of the tournament. Mm. Um, they gave him two games at that role. And then they moved on quite quickly. So they've, I think they've, they haven't stuck with someone for a long enough period to kind of see how that's going to turn out. So they, they are trying to fill that gap. They just haven't been lucky enough to, to find someone who's performed in that, in that gap. And when you're losing, uh, more pressure comes on you finding that solution quicker. To your point... Uh, around consistency of selection, that might be why they have struggled because that, that person batting a four has changed almost every game. Mm. 
All right. I hope that answers your question as well. Meditation learner about Rashid Bowling in the first um, or second over. And there's another handle which has, uh, I think, a Mandarin account. So I can't read it. And any of you any good at it? Reading Mandarin? No? It basically says Hardik Strait basically ruined three teams. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Yes. I quite like it. It's still early days though in the tournament. Only somebody with a Mandarin handle would come out with that. It has to be. <laughs> yeah, has to be. Uh, he has to be. Serious careful. analysis. Yeah, he, he's asking three franchises <laughs> yeah. to go after him. All right. Uh, very quick word on the Delhi Capitals, though. It's their win. And I wonder what this win could do for them. A team that we were not even counting as remotely close to the top four race. But as this win now puts them above the Titans, uh, and we are just at the halfway point, they now head to the Arun Jaitley Stadium as well for the first time for a series of home games. But what can this win without Warner, without Marsh, Nokia do for them? Definitely boost their morale, mm. uh, for sure, because they definitely needed something like that to, uh, to just infuse some belief in, in, in their camp. That's exactly what's happened. But the most important thing is how they back this up. Yeah. Because otherwise, uh, generally as a team, when you, when you have such a performance where nothing has gone for the opponent, and then you lose the next game, then everybody starts to think, you know what, that just might have been a fluke. But if they, if they win again after this, hmm. then they would really feel like as, as, as a unit that, okay, we're on to something. Yeah. And, and, then, and then things start heating up. They, they return back to Delhi after this game as well, That's right. don't they? So that'll be a big boost to be back in their hometown um, but, or home city. But they're up against the SRA, they are. who are running hot. And it's going to be a real test for that bowling unit to be able to contain them. Look, I think they can do it. Um, but and momentum will help with that, but that's a dangerous team to run into. Do you see, the sense what we we saw from the pictures, they seemed a happy bunch today for the first time with Rishabh Pant and the animation that we saw. Ricky Ponting seemed quite animated in the dugout. Is this, this does this entertain the possibility that this Delhi team is good enough to not just make this a one-off win, but perhaps make a play to the playoffs? Say no, Bish, come on. No, just picking okay. picking all of that up from this I, would be a stretch for me okay. because it's a process of what have we learned from this win. Um, you had Mukesh bowling well, you had Kuldeep bowling well, but then the real acid test is coming up against SRH and putting those principles back in place. And we, we still don't know about the batting because they're only chasing a small total, what the mix is with that. So they have to just apply those principles next game again and then we'll be able to give a better account of it. Yeah, and that'll be something serious. If this Delhi team, on the back of these two wins now, and good wins that they are uh, against Lucknow and now uh, the Titans, can actually beat Sunrisers with the form they're in, then we should wait for that conversation. They also play the Titans again. We have this period now in the IPL where a set of fixtures will be repeated very quickly. So maybe it may not be a bad fixture for them in a little over a week's time. Time for a rapid-fire review of the game, shall we? I mean, it's been a rapid-fire game, so... <laughs> Let's just go to it. Uh, first one, uh, Bish, an all-Indian bowling attack doing the trick two games in a row. Should Delhi persist with this? 20 seconds. I believe so. I believe we, we don't know what the status of Nokia's health is, whether it's just a physical break or a mental break. And you can't fault anyone, even given Tristan Stubbs' excellence with the ball. I think the Seamers and Kuldeep have done very well. Giving it a moment. So Tristan, you don't laugh. Tristan Stubbs. He didn't respond. He didn't buy. He didn't buy into it. He didn't he's even blink. To laugh. He didn't buy. <laughs> he's looking at me. Trying to... I thought he's an occasional wicketkeeper, but he bowls. Oh, man. amazing! You see how it came out of his hand? Mm. It was beautiful. Quiet, Mitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's Varun Aaron's turn now. Is this Gujarat batting lineup overly dependent on Shubman Gill? Twenty seconds. I wouldn't say they're overly dependent. They are dependent for sure because uh, any team would depend on a batsman like him to perform, especially the way he's gone in the first two seasons. But it's time that the, the young guys put their hand up and say that, you know what, we're here, we're, we're here to play, we're here to be counted and get the team over the line. Mm. All right. Uh, Mitch, is Rishabh Pant's keeping the most pleasant surprise since his return from injury? Well, I think the most pleasant surprise is his all-round game. I yep. think it's been very, very good. Uh, but... It's all come down to how he's come back and his, the physical condition he's come back in. He's come back looking in very, very good shape. And to me, that looks like the signs of a man who really wants it and really wants to be back for that World Cup. Okay, perfectly in time. Back to you, Varun. Low target. But did it make sense 
to not start with either Rashid or Noor? I would say that uh, yes, from the third over onwards, uh, just one over to the seamers because that's when the seamers are into play. Otherwise, after that, I, if Rashid and Bo uh, Noor bowl four four overs each, um, after that you really have nothing no nothing to play for because um, the game just gets over there. So I would say one one over with the, with, the, with the seamers and then Noor and Rashid to start. But uh, I think they just went too long with the seamers. Yeah. Dish, back to you. Gujarat Titans, given how hot and cold they've been for a team that's had two finals, does it look like they have too many holes now and may not make the playoffs? It's not looking great how soft the batting lineup can be at times, but you have to hold out hope even at this halfway stage of a season that a couple of those guys, Miller has class, Shipman, Sai Shidasha, and love him, that they can sort of catch fire sometimes. And I change the order of the questions to save this one for you. Pick the best bowler of the game, Mitch McLanagan. Khalil, Ishant, Mukesh or Stubbs? I won't go Stubbs. On the fact that I think Mukesh Kumar looked really nice. He's been a massive inclusion for this side coming back. And I think he's changed around their team's fortunes with the ball. Okay. You know when we started the impact zone for the tournament? There was some discussion and debate whether if you pick a batter, whether he should be given bowling points. I picked him as a wild card. You did, didn't I you? I did, yeah. Regardless, it's been settled because we are giving points for everything. And Tristan Stubbs will feature as we head into the impact zone. Oh, jeez. Yeah. What's Ra okay, so Rashid gave you points with bat. Stubbs gave you points with ball, <laughs> right? So yeah. that's the kind of game we've that's, just had. That's perfect. Two. That's perfect. My God. Yeah. So, yeah, from that, I mean, can we say that Rashid was man of the match as well for my outrageous pick? I wonder no, who, I'm just saying. I, I, I wonder was who has been given player of the match. I think it's just about being adjudicated on. It's one of those tough games. Mm. Who has had the most significant impact to the outcome of the game? The definition coined by Ian Bishop. That's what you said yesterday, right? Yeah. Significant contribution yeah. to the yeah. outcome of the outcome match. of the game, yeah. yes. And uh, as we've seen, uh, that's nice. The the player of the match is Rishabh Pant with two stumpings, two catches, managing his bowl as well, and staying not out. Interesting. <laughs> 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 one deflection <laughs> of stumps. one stumping and one, and one <laughs> reflection. Stumps. A good deflection, though. Bish, if you were the broadcaster picking player of the match today, would you be picking Pant? I didn't see that coming, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, fair enough. Right, uh, it is time to see how those predictions went. And we did land a few today, didn't we? With the all-fast bowling panel. Mukesh to take three-plus wickets, so Ian Bishop has added to his overall season mm -hmm. leaderboard tally. And uh, return of Warren Aryan, uh, Aryan? Warrior to take a wicket in his first ten balls, and that happened for Varun for Sandeep Warrior. Very good. Thank you. <clears throat> You get the other stuff, so you don't need to worry about that. The same, there's almost points. more impact on those, isn't there? But hey, look, he's, he's here. He's an all-rounder now, Tristan Stubbs. Genuine all-rounder. Mm. So we've got a lot to look forward to for the rest of this IPL. I've never thought that there literally is nothing else to discuss in a game. <laughs> he's, he can't wait to get off this couch. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> yeah, he's a genuine <laughs> all-rounder and leave. Bish is doing his next stint in Hindi. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> second day with me, he's sick of me already. All yeah. right. Varun Aaron, thank you very much you. Uh, on your comeback appearance. What a game for you to come back to. Yeah, Bish, absolutely. we'll see you tomorrow. Mitch, you as well. As Punjab and Mumbai play, when what's a game of huge significance for both teams, the back of defeats in their last one. So, build up to that around the toss in Mulapur. Uh, uh, on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Trick for Time Out. Do download the mobile app if you haven't already. It will have you covered with uh, everything that you possibly need from a game like this. The ESPN Trick for Mobile app. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. All new hot and techy breath up. The Citybird SUV.